Fast forward to 2050, 2060, 2070. What does a hot day look like, feel like? Researchers at the Prairie Climate Center have painted the picture to help us understand the future of heat waves. They've gathered data that predicts a scenario that would play out if greenhouse gas emissions continue at their current rate. So what will a future heat wave look like? First, we'll go to Halifax. Historically, Halifax usually sees one 30 degree day per summer. Within the second half of the century, that single 30 degree day could turn into a dozen. And the length of heat waves could become alarming. Currently in Ottawa, the average wave is about four days. In the near future, 17 days in a heat wave will not be uncommon. We'll go to Toronto now, also looking at increasing length of heat waves, but another thing to consider is the overnight temperature. Toronto should expect to remain warmer than 21 degrees Celsius through the overnight during most future heat waves. Now the city of Winnipeg is also in for longer heat waves, seven days on average. During the summer of 2020, Regina's hottest day was 36.9. These kind of days will continue to be more common. Between 2050 and 2080, Regina should see about 34 degrees Celsius, approximately 23 times per year. As we move further west, heat waves are more uncommon. However, Calgary will start to experience them more often, averaging four heat waves per year in the near future. And lastly, on the west coast of Canada, Victoria, even one heat wave is rare in the region. However, between 2050 and 2080, the Prairie Climate Centre is forecasting about one per year. These predictions do not take into account the urban heat island effect. Essentially, cities being so packed together that they generate their own heat. Heat at this level is dangerous and doctors warn of growing problems involving lungs, heart, liver and kidneys. So how can we U-turn away from this extremely hot Canada? Vote. Understand climate promises of your party. Think renewable energy. This can help us create a path to sustainability and talk about it. Talk about the solutions that exist today with family and friends. Some of the changes to our climate are inevitable. We've put too much carbon into the atmosphere already and will experience the effect of this result. But existing solutions still have time to curb the characteristics of future heat waves.